Well, I am relatively exhausted. I'm using this camera. I had issues with this camera before. So basically, this is the acid test to see how long I stick with it. Well, I'm planning on doing some things. You know, I pretty much gave up on camo when I put these panels in there. But it was a different world. It was the old song. It's a different world and where we came from. Uh, the COVID world is a little bit crazier and a little bit, uh, in my opinion, more dangerous. So what I'm going to have to do is to go back with the idea that camo of at least a limited sort is possible at night. So I'm still thinking about putting a vinyl covering over here on occasion, possibly linked to the panel down here. And then I can fold it up or fold it down uh, based on that. When I fold it up, it would fold up the covering so it covers, you know, this part. And then I would probably have to tack down these parts. I'm thinking about that. It's a lot of freaking trouble, but it's a weird, weird world we're in. Anyway, I don't know if I, uh, if you look here, uh, I can, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. In fact, I'm gonna do this side first. I'm going to, uh, I've got some six by eight tarps coming in. That'll be three. And then basically what I'm gonna do is create a tarp that goes from here across and covers this panel. It's going to have to have a something here to hold it, a Velcro strip. I have to go back to using Velcro. It's just the only thing I can use in this environment. Uh, and uh, that will allow me to open this door and close this door, but camouflage all these panels on this side. Uh, back here. So, you know, it's just, you know, I, I hate to do this stuff that I thought was not really, didn't really serve a purpose, but once again, it's a whole different world now than it was before. Uh, so that's that's my plan. Now I'm also going to show you some things that gave me problems. And I've had continuing problems uh, with this. Uh, I've had continuing problems with this same issue. Uh, around this side something that screwed up most of my day yesterday trying to debug it and it's hot as Hades out here so I didn't spend more than five or ten minutes at a time doing it and I wasn't running the AC because the problem was a power issue so the AC couldn't be run I would drag the batteries down and potentially damage them so back here uh, my, all my problems back here, I've got a mess again because I was back here working. All my problems have been with this bus bar and it has nothing to do with the bus bar. You see these little metal, uh, uh, I guess, uh, connectors I've got here? These things are not good. These things are not good. I'm going to, I've got some traditional uh, terminal ends I'm going to put on here. But right now, I've stuck with this only because I need to find everything I need to do and then feel like doing it during this god-awful heat. Right now, see, these things should be up close to 100%. See, I hope, hopefully I'm better off than I think. See, I have my battery showing 12.6 at 51%. And up here, it's showing 13.0. It's probably about 60 some odd percent at the, at the one up here. Uh, come on, show me. 13.0, 62%, yeah. So, these should things should be close to 100%. But, you know, it'd be enough to stay in here overnight if I needed to. But I'm still in this uh, hotel. But I'm just, I now, I'm just, I'm, I'm just coming in here and throwing stuff away, basically. You know, I can't contribute much anymore. I think the Goodwill might be available now. And I'm going to uh, go by there and see if there's a place where I can deposit the goods. Hopefully they can lice all it down, just in case I'm the carrier nowadays. Uh, and uh, they will uh, then put it out and people can buy it and maybe it can contribute to some, somewhat of a good cause. But I spent all day because neither one of these were working. And I was saying, okay, uh, I must have sprung the uh, 
must have blown the fuse but but you know i said i had trouble with this but only affected one yeah it was the positive on the battery itself so that's why both of these were off double check again now i'm paranoid why both of these were off so i just had to replace the connector here on the going to the battery out of the side of the bus bar you'll see more of that because i've got to go in there and create terminal ring terminal ends for all of those that that stuff just does not work it does work but it will occasionally go wacky and heat up and it just will not function so and uh, i just got to get that together this place is let's just say rolled back a bit because i brought some dirty clothes out here there's a little some crap on the bed but i'm just i'm ready to get back in the van i'm just now I'm, I'm going to put this last little bit on here and then make an attempt. And, uh, of course, right now, since I am retirement age, if I get thrown in jail for uh, any trumped-up charges, and when you get out there in this world now, you never know what's going to happen. At least uh, <laughs> I, can still, I can still retire and get my money. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a shame when an honest man has to calculate the potential for being... Uh, for being uh, uh, arrested or set up or framed or right, now that's the uh, that's the uh, the psychologically defensive part I just think that people are so hypersensitive and I don't see our justice system working ex extraordinarily well lately so it's very easy for an honest man doing nothing illegal to suddenly find himself in the uh, in the legal system since I am retirement age now, I don't have to worry about losing my job. They still got to pay me. Uh, it's hard. It's hard to think that way, but I've got to. In any case, uh, so I'm basically really, really, really tired. I've been off work three days. I might be off work one more day. I've been burning up a lot of my vacation early in the year. I had quite a bit of vacation, and I think I might have five or six days left. But I also might have five or six days left before I retire every 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 week is a maybe uh, like most people this covid deal threw my plans off and what i've been planning to do since the covid thing is to keep my job until it looked like we were out on the other side of the covid thing but the stupid processes of doing this means that texas has blown up florida has blown up arizona has blown up and there's you know 20 some other, other other states decided they knew better than the doctors so now it looks like this thing is going to last for years and i will not be waiting for years i'm gonna have to pull my trigger and take my and take my chances and go on out into the world mask on following all the procedures and hope i make this do this thing alive until we come out the other side and this old guy can go back to catching a movie or two every week or so all right I will uh, talk to you later, and I will uh, I'll be back. And I, I'm basically doing a test of this. This is a the Hero Black and White. They did make a Hero Black you know, with a white color. Yes, they did. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to uh, tell you what I'm losing and what I'm testing here. So I'll be back, and I will uh, see you uh, later. I might be off one more day. I got some things I need to pick up. But I'm not going to pick them up this evening. I'll have to pick them up in the morning or at lunch if I do have to work. All right. You have a good day.